In this tutorial, we'll be comparing the Bank of America versus Capital One. And we're going to be comparing the checking accounts. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about fees. Now, Capital One has no monthly fees. No monthly fees. Or a minimum balance required. All right. So this means that you don't need to have any amount of money inside the inside your checking accounts and you can still run it. Now, on the other hand, Bank of America has three types of accounts. The first one is Advantage Safe Balance. The second one is Advantage Plus Checking. And the third one is Advantage Relationship bank Banking. Now, for the first one, it has a monthly fee of $4.95. Now, that is unless you're a student. So if you're, uh, if you're a student or you're under 18, you won't have to pay this fees. So if student or under 18, you won't have to pay any fees, all right? Now, on the other hand, the next one is Advantage Plus Checking. Now, this one has a $12 monthly fee, all right? But that's unless you maintain, now let's say you have uh, maintained a $1,500 minimum balance. So let's say every month you won't go under $1,500. And if you don't go under $1,500, you won't have to pay this fees. Or you could either make a $250 monthly deposit. Unless, to unless uh, $1,500 minimum balance. All right. Or if you deposit or deposit to $50 every month. So these are the two conditions under you won't have to pay the $12. Now uh, over to the last type, Advantage Relationship Backing has a monthly fee of $25. So $25 monthly fee, unless you maintain a $10,000 balance across linked accounts. So let's say you have a $10,000 balance across linked accounts you won't have to pay that fees so unless ten thousand dollars across linked accounts so these are the three types of bank in under bank of america accounts now we're going to go ahead and look at interest rates now capital one has a 0 0.10 percent apy which is annual percentage yield so 0.10% APY. Now, on the other hand, Capital One has no interest. All right. So this is all under one. That's all under one. This is the second point. The, sec the second point. Now, let's go ahead and look at the ATM fees. Now, Capital One reimburses all ATM fees worldwide. Now, on the other hand, Bank of America has no ATM fees within their network, but charges fee for using out of network ATMs. All right. Now, let's look at let's go ahead and look at branch access. Now, Capital One has a limited physical branches. So they have limited physical branches. Right. And they're primarily located in the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic regions. And they rely heavily on online and mobile banking. Now, on the other hand, Bank of America has extensive network of physical branches. So there are many physical branches. So let's say if you're a type of person who wants to go ahead and visit the office, you can always go ahead and choose Bank of America. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and look at some other features. Now, Capital One offers mobile banking and check deposit along with Zelly transfers and various account linking options. The Bank of America offers a wide, wider range of features, including mobile banking and check deposits, Zell transfers, bill pay, and access to investments and loan products. Now let's go ahead and look over a quick summary. Now let's say if, you're, if you want to choose Capital, then you want to avoid fees, we will prioritize interest earnings and you don't mind limited branch access. Now choose Bank of America if you value extensive branch access 
need a wider range of banking features and don't mind potentially paying fees. Ultimately, the best option depends on your individual needs and preferences. Consider which factors are the most important for you and compare the specific features. So yeah, so alright guys, I'll be it for the video. I hope it helped you out and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out.